front. Clare Castle's reply was almost instant. Clare's Ireland captain Anthony Daly burst out of defence and full forward Ken Ralph got his first of the day. The outstanding Danny Scanlon put Clare Castle in front for the first time when his ambitious shot had both distance and accuracy. Meanwhile, a shoulder injury to Kieran Carey was clearly hampering his play. One of the scores of the day came from this wonderful sideline cut by Pat Healy that simply sailed over the bar. Finally, a goal was produced after 27 minutes. Danny Scanlon was the provider and Sparrow O'Loughton left it to Alan Neville and his rasping shot went flying into the bottom corner. On the restart, what should certainly have been a free for Patrick Swell for the foul on John McDermott, saw the other number 12, Danny Scanlon, benefit, and that made it 1-9 to 8 points. But McDermott did get in on the scoring act a few minutes later, when the Clare Castle magpies were less than effective for once. Then this happened, the arm of Stephen Sheedy making definite contact with Anthony Carmody, the Clare man had already been booked by Michael Wadding. The official consulted, both players were dismissed. Curiously, both are workmates in Shannon. Tomorrow's tea break should be interesting. Patrick's well were heavily dependent on frees from Gary Kirby, and this sideline cut so effectively executed was his ninth of the match. It was also the equaliser. The move that resulted in Clare Castle's second and crucial goal came from this devastating run by Danny Scanlon. The decision, a penalty. Emphatically dispatched by Ken Ralph to make it 2-11 to 14 points. Gary Kirby did his level best to earn the well a second day. Four minutes into injury time, this happens, and the effort was deflected up and over the bar. That made it the final score of 2-11 to 15 points. And another Clare club are Munster champions. That's three different clubs in successive years.